hi, this is Katie Bomberger, and I'm going to share with you my design experience with making my Periscope. Now I'm going to saw off 10 centimeter um, sections of my tube to make the ends to make the ends of my Periscope. I'm not sure if that will be too too big or too small, but I can adjust if when I try it out, it doesn't work. Stop, Jason. Okay, I just use scissors, just regular kitchen scissors, and I was able to cut through pieces of an old CD that I had, and um, I'll trim them up a little more to make them even, but I'm going to try to use these as my mirrors. Uh, now I am taping on the outer tubes for my periscope and I'm just using clear packing tape to secure all the way around the sides and I did it to the one on the bottom as well and I will trim that probably a little bit and what I'm working on next is I have one of my small um, mirrors down here at the bottom and I think it's going to take some adjusting for me to get it to work correctly. I do have another mirror here that I'm planning on putting at the top but I'm just going to try a couple different positions to see which one works the best so that I actually get a reflection so that I can see successfully with my periscope and we will go from there. Okay, here's the final product, and my Periscope has been successful. I can look through it from the top, or I can flip it around, and I can use it from the bottom, and from either angle, it works to see up and over things. Um, you can't really see it, but the mirror and a small piece of cardboard is at the base, on the inside to provide that point of reflection and then also at the top I have another triangle shaped piece of cardboard and the mirror which provides the reflection at that point and both of my kids used it and they said that it was a success so I think for my first try at the periscope it worked out well.